It's not a matter of if it will happen, but when will it happen? Stick around and we'll get right to it. So I woke up this morning to reports of a huge IT outage. Now, interestingly enough, I got the first reports over ham radio. And a big shout out to Kilo November 6, Lima Zulu Victor, who used FL Digi to report this. So exactly what's going on? Well, it seems the first reports came from Australia overnight, and they are reporting IT issues. Uh, when a spokesperson for the country's home affairs minister said the outage appeared to be related to an issue at CrowdStrike. Australia's National Cybersecurity Coordinator described it as a large-scale technical outage, but said there was no indication it was a cyber attack. So what exactly is CrowdStrike? Well, CrowdStrike provides cloud workload protection and endpoint security threat intelligence and cyber attack response services. So exactly what happened here? Well, it looks like a CrowdStrike update is breaking computers running Windows, causing them to crash and display the blue screen of death. Companies around the world have been unable to reboot, according to reports, and firms affected by the outage include Sky News, which was unable to broadcast. Now, according to The Verge, uh, there are thousands of Windows machines experiencing the blue screen of death issue at boot today. And this is impacting banks, airlines, TV broadcasters, supermarkets, and many more businesses worldwide. Now, at this time, this doesn't seem to be a cyber attack, but more of a security update issue when CrowdStrike attempted to do an update. Not exactly sure of all of the technical details of it. All I know is it left a lot of businesses without their computer systems this morning. And that kind of brings me to the point of this video. This can happen at any time and without advanced warning. So what can you do to protect yourself? Well, there's a few different things. First of all, I recommend making sure that you have any reference material that you need downloaded to your system and that you keep at least one computer system air-gapped from the internet. Basically, you have a system that is up and running and functioning as you expect and then disconnect it from the internet. Before you ever plug up that system to the internet, make sure that you air-gap one of your other systems so that you always have a computer air-gapped from the internet. That way, if there is some sort of large-scale cyber attack or a virus that is spreading like crazy, you can have at least one system that's available to you that is not connected to the internet. Now, as much as I would love to take a dig at Windows here, this really wasn't a Microsoft issue. This was a security update issue, at least according to the initial reports. But one th other thing that I can recommend is that you have multiple operating systems. So, for instance, here in the shack, I run both Mac OS and Linux. If either one of those operating systems was impacted, it gives me better odds of the other one not being impacted and leaving me dead in the water. So, when you run multiple operating systems, it just gives you more of a layered defense. So take a look at your systems today. Make sure that you've got all of your reference material downloaded if you think you would need it and not be able to access the internet. Hopefully this is not in the near future, but I'm afraid that sooner or later we are going to wake up one morning and the internet's going to be down. It's happened to me once already when the AT&T building got bombed back several years ago and left us without internet and cell phones in Middle Tennessee. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.